and upset Because this girl I've never met I get to meet tonight at 8 I'm taking her to dinner at a charming old cafe But who can eat tonight at 8? It's early in the morning and our date is not till 8 o'clock tonight And yet already I can see What a nightmare this whole day will be The wink I only think of our approaching tete a tete tonight at eight. I feel a combination of depression and elation. What a state to wait till eight. Three more minutes, two more seconds, ten more hours to go. In spite of all I've written, she may not be very smitten, and my hopes perhaps may all collapse kaput tonight at eight. I knew exactly how I'll act and what will happen when we dine tonight at 8. I know I'll drop the silverware, but will I spill the water or the wine tonight at 8? Tonight I'll walk right up and sit right down beside the smartest girl in town, and then it's anybody's guess. More and more I'm breathing less and less. Imagination. I can hear our conversation taking shape tonight at 8. I'll sit there saying absolutely nothing or I'll jabber like an ape tonight at 8. Two more minutes, three more seconds, ten more hours to go. I know when this is done, if something's ended or begun, and if it goes all right, who knows, I might propose tonight.
for I have this day an engagement to mount the throne of England. That sort of talk just doesn't come up in normal conversation. Sure it was possible. If he'd met my mom at his cabana at the Chateau de Chateau Mormont in 34, there was every reason to believe there could be the distinct possibility that the man who went out for Chesterfields was not my real father at all. I wasn't some kid whose father got tired of him and walked out. I was the bastard son of Alan Swan! <laughs> Daring, loyal, kind but courageous, a hero as big as I needed, in the technicolor embrace of a maiden slime, my hero and possible father. He stood and he fought, and he never ran. Oh no. He was bigger and better and larger than. He lived for me.